AI is no longer a future promise in healthcare. It's here. Everything from drug discovery to diagnostics, patient monitoring, and even robotic surgery. And 2026 could be a pivotal year for the companies pushing this forward. Let's start with Abcelera, a company that uses AI and microfluidics to discover and engineer antibodies. Instead of waiting years to find potential therapies, Abcelera compresses that timeline by screening billions of cells and ranking the best candidates quickly. They're already moving their first drug, ABCL635, into human trials, a sign that their AI-powered platform isn't just theoretical, it's starting to deliver real medicines. Now compare that to Schrodinger, which takes a different approach. Their platform fuses physics-based simulations with machine learning to design molecules before they're ever made in a lab. Pharma companies use it to cut down trial and error in drug discovery, and Schrodinger is also building its own drug pipeline on top of the software. While Abcelera is focused on antibodies, Schrodinger is tackling small molecules, two very different angles on the same problem, making better medicines faster. Then comes Recursion Pharmaceuticals, which is taking scale to the extreme. Using automation, massive data sets, and AI models, they're running experiments on millions of cells at once and feeding the results back into their system. And with their merger with Excientia, Recursion now combines AI biology with precision chemistry, giving them an end-to-end -end engine for drug discovery. If Abcelera is about finding the right antibodies, and Schrodinger is about designing molecules smarter, Recursion is about industrializing the whole process. On the medical device side, GE Healthcare is embedding AI into imaging systems like CT, MRI, and ultrasound. They're even working with NVIDIA to build autonomous X-ray and ultrasound platforms that can reduce technician workload and boost accuracy. Where companies like Recursion focus on creating drugs, GE Healthcare is making sure doctors can diagnose and monitor patients with more speed and precision. Medtronic pushes AI into the operating room, particularly in cardiology and diabetes care. Their GI Genius platform uses computer vision to help spot polyps during endoscopies, while their diabetes tech is evolving into smarter, more automated insulin delivery systems. It's about guiding doctors with AI in real time, and in some cases, letting devices make the adjustments automatically. Stryker takes robotics to orthopedics. Their Mako platform uses AI to plan and guide joint replacements with sub-millimeter accuracy. It's already becoming standard in knee and hip surgeries, and the company is now expanding into spine and shoulder. While while Medtronic focuses on precision in heart and metabolic care, Stryker is rewriting how bones and joints are repaired. And then there's Intuitive Surgical, the leader in robotic surgery with its Da Vinci systems. They've rolled out the new Da Vinci 5 platform, which adds more AI-driven features for planning, vision, and analytics. Already installed in over 10,000 hospitals worldwide, their systems help surgeons operate with more control, less blood loss, and faster recovery times. Stryker focuses on bones, Intuitive focuses on soft tissue. The connection is clear, AI and robotics are reshaping surgery from every angle. Johnson & Johnson is pushing that even further with its Otava robotic platform and new AI-focused polyphonic fund developed alongside NVIDIA and AWS. They're not just building machines, they're creating a full digital surgery ecosystem, connecting imaging, robotics, and analytics into one AI-driven workflow. Intuitive may have the head start, but J&J's scale means it could quickly become a major force in surgical AI. On the insurance side, United Health Group operates from a completely different vantage point, data. Through its Optum division, United Health manages massive amounts of claims and clinical records. They've launched an AI marketplace to plug advanced models directly into healthcare systems. While companies like Intuitive and Stryker improve procedures, United Health is using AI to improve the administrative and financial backbone of healthcare. For drug discovery, Sertara is transforming how drugs are developed and approved. Its biosimulation software uses AI to simulate how new medicines will behave in the human body, replacing much of the need for animal testing. Regulators are paying attention. The FDA and EMA have begun supporting this shift, making Certera's platform a critical part of the future drug pipeline. Its SimSap simulator even won EMA qualification, making it the only PBPK modeling software recognized at that level. In 2025, it launched CoAuthor, an AI-powered assistant for writing regulatory submissions, streamlining one of the most tedious parts of drug development. Finding stocks like GE Healthcare, Certara, or Recursion, right as they make pivotal announcements, can be the difference between catching a breakout move and missing it. That's where Levelfield's AI comes in. The platform scans thousands of company events, earnings surprises, FDA approvals, billion-dollar contracts, leadership changes, and product launches, and alerts you in real time when an event is likely to move a stock. Instead of sifting through endless news feeds, you can focus only on the events that matter and act decisively. That's why traders and long-term investors alike are using Levelfield's AI to track healthcare catalysts and build smarter positions. Follow and subscribe for more. Levelfield's Elite Investing. Effortless AI.